Hi guys, so welcome sa part 2 ng ating module 7 which is about statically determinate members. So dito ko last uh, problem solving na lang gagawin natin and then application ng mga procedures na natutunan natin dun sa part 1. Okay, so example number 3. The figure shows a rigid bar that is supported by a pin at A and two rods, one made of steel and the other of bronze. Neglecting the weight of the bar, compute the stress in each rod caused by the 50 kN load using the following data. Okay, so, ano yung first step plus? I-drawing natin, no? So, naka-pin at A. So, yung, yung rod dito, class, ang assumption dyan, range yan, class. Okay. And then, this one is A. And then, nandito dito yung 50 kN na load. Okay, tapos andi dito yung uh, steel rod or steel uh, yes, correct, steel rod and then dito yung bronze. So, ayan. Okay, so maganda dyan class kayo na kompleto muna yung mga given. No? So, ito yung bronze. Okay, so binigay siya ng length length BR 2 meters area na BR may binigay ba? ayan meron na 300 mm squared and then yung E BR is 83 gigapascal okay how about naman itong steel So, length ng steel, 1 meter, uh, area ng steel, E ng steel equals 600 and then 200, 600 mm squared and then 200 giga pascal. Okay, so kung nare-recall nyo class sa uh, part 1, anong gagawin dito class? First step, drawing agad yung deformed shape, di ba? So, drawing nyo natin yung deform shape niya. So, dahil naka-pin siya dyan, so, ang, ang tendency is yung movement niya, ano, apply tayo ng load dito. So, hilahin natin siya. So, gagawin ikot-ikot lang siya. Okay, so, hinila ko, magiging ganyan yan. Okay, so, exaggerate natin siya. So, ganito yung magiging uh, itsura niya yung bar. Okay. So, definitely, no, may support dito. So, ibig sabihin, uh, mula dito, di ba, nandito yung initial length ng steel. So, punta siya dito. So, therefore, ito is the deformation ng steel. Di ba? Nag-elongate siya. Dati, nandito yung bronze. So, dahil nag-deform siya, ayan, no, mag-elongate mag siya hanggang dito. Ito ngayon yung deformation ng Bronze. Let's say B na lang muna. Hindi, BR na. Okay, para consistent dito. Okay, so anong gagawin? So, hinila mo. Therefore, ang mga resistance na ito, mga uh, rods na to is pataas. Okay, yung loadings nila is pataas. So, ito yung magiging force carried ng steel. Ito naman yung force carried ng bronze. Okay, so first is to provide or to create a, an equation of equilibrium, di ba? So, equation of equilibrium. So, paano naman makukuha yung class? Eh, take note class dito sa, sa joint na to. Meron yung reaction din. So, pwede possible ganyan. Reaction yun. Okay. And then, meron din yung body. Meron yun din dito. So, A horizontal. And then, ito yung A vertical. Kaso, hindi mo natin ito gustong, ano eh, Hindi man to part ng analysis natin eh. So, paano kaya ma-eliminate yan? Hindi mag-moment na lang ako dito, diba? So, by taking summation of moment at A equals 0 considering clockwise moments positive. So, ito clockwise moment, ito counter. So, first define muna natin yung mga horizontal distances. So, ito is 0.6 meter, 1 meter, and then 
0.8 meter. Okay, so therefore, 50 clockwise. So, 50 times moment arm, 0.6 uh, once, uh, 0.8. So, that is, lagay ko na lang yung buhok para hindi ka mali to. 50 kilo newton times 0.6 plus 1 plus 0.8 and then minus okay so wait lang ha ayan so burayin natin para mas madaling tignan nandungis kasi 50 kilo newton times ayan moment arm 0.6 by 1 plus 1 plus 0.8 minus etong counterclockwise ng PS times the moment arm is 0.6 meters and then minus itong PBR the moment arm niya is 0.6 saka 1 and then equal sa 0 so simplify natin to class so magiging 50 point so 50 times ito 2.4 so this one is 120 kilonewton meter minus I am 0.6 and then PS and then unit na ito class. So kung kilonewton yung force dapat ito must be na lang din kilonewtons. Okay so unit nya is kilonewton meter din and then ito 1.6 PBR kilonewton meters equal to 0 okay so therefore ito na yun yung equation 1 okay yung relationship nila and then ano ng next class yung compatibility equation so yung compatibility equation makukuha natin to dun sa relationship ng mga deformations nila which is etong deformation ng steel deformation ng bronze anong relationship niyan class eh din sa triangle di ba sa so, labas natin yung triangle na yan okay so in sige hindi ko na nasagad class ang papakita ko na lang etong deformation ng steel sa deformation ng uh, bronze Okay, hindi ko na da, da, hindi ko na sasama to ito na lang triangle ko so this one is 0.6 this one is 1 meter okay so by ratio and proportion so ano yun so height is to width and then height is to width or uh, deformations na steel over 0.6 is equal sa deformation ng bronze over Okay, so ito yung length niya, 1.6. Okay, so therefore, uh, pag sa mga, gawin ko na lang siguro, ano, 1.6 deformation ng steel C equals sa 0.6 deformation ng bronze. Okay, so ito na yung sa compatibility equation. Anong next na gagawin class is, ano, uh, ano naman tayo, yung, yung hook slow, iba? So, hook slow. So, using ito, so, lagay, gawa natin siya ng ano, formula, yung with relationship ng mga forces, yung PL over AE. So, magiging 1.6 by, ano to? Uh, delta S, so that is PS, LS over AS, ES is equal sa 0.6 times delta BR, so that is PBR, LBR over ABR and then EBR. Okay. So, simplify natin further. Substitute yung mga given. So, magiging 1.6 PS. Ano yung length? Still, ayun o. 1 meter. So, dito class pwede ulit na ano. Na hindi na natin i-convert into mm into newton. Kasi magka-cancel lang naman yan. Okay, so, 1 meter over 600 mm squared by 200 giga pascal. 
okay and then equals a 0.6 by pbr ang length ng br ayan 2 meters over area 300 mm squared by 83 gpa okay so ayan ang pwede kasi mag cancel yung unit eh. yung kanina kasi may may plus pa yung sa problem number uh, 2 natin sa, sa last uh, part 1 sa part 1 uh, dito pwede mag cancel ng recta yan okay gpa so ganyan na lang siya no? so okay so magiging ano siya ah uh, sige simplify na natin pag samasamayan na natin ito yung mga constant so ilan to 1.6 times 1 divided by 600 divided by uh, 200 magiging 1.6 Ito is magiging ano. Ayan na. Pinagsama-sama ko lang yan. Plus. So magiging 1 over 75,000. So magiging PS over 75,000 is equal to ito naman. 0.6 times 2 divided by 300 by 83. Ito naman is 1 over 2750. Or PBR over 2750. So, therefore, meron na ako equation 2. Diba? Equation 2, meron ako equation 1. So, therefore, masolve ko na yung mga forces. Okay, so, ito rewrite ko to sa so maging 120 minus 0 0.6 ES minus 1.6 PBR is equal to 0. So, sino na lang gusto mo i-substitute class? or ano na lang uh, uh, two equations to unknowns class no kaya mo na ba yun solve mo yan yung PS saka PBR kaya mo na yung class so using yung calculate mo na lang sige try natin na take note class ang, ang, ang force dito nakakilo newton di ba nakakilo newton so yung resulting masasolve natin force P dito is in kilo newtons Okay, so solve mo itong dalawang to. Ilan ang PS and then ilan ang PBR. Okay. Okay, ayan. So, nagamit ako ng mode 5.1. Bahala ka class na simplify mo ikong bahala trend. So, 1 over 75,000 negative 1 over 2750. Okay, so bahala. Ayan, check mo kung may pressure kung tama ito eh. Ito. Uh, 0.6. 1.6. And then ito is 120. Ayan, ilan ang sagot? Ano ba tinatanong? Compute the stress. O oh, no, force pa lang ito. Anyways, ito ang sagot sa una. 45,000 over... 391, ang unit is kilo newton or ito siya pero ayoko kasi nag around the plus eh next is ito is 1, 2, 4 50 over 391 kilo newton ok, so meron na akong forces paano nakukunin? stress so kasya na yun dito alas so for steel eh, the stress is equal sa PS over AS, PS is 45,000 over 391 kilonewton. E di ba kilonewton yung class? So, kukonvert ko yan. So, times 1,000 newton over 1 kilonewton and then divided by yung area. Ito, area na still 600 mm squared. So, cancel newton per mm squared. So, resulting unit ng final answer is MPA so ilan yan so 45,000 391 times 1,000 over 600 okay. so ayan 191.82 and then MPA ok next is for bronze so stress ng bronze br is equal sa 
uh, PBR over area na BR. So that is ito 124 50 over 391 unit is kilonewtons. So therefore convert ulit so 1000 newtons per 1 kilonewton. Divided by yung area ng bronze, ayan, 300. 300 mm squared. So, cancel kilo newtons, newton per mm squared. So, ilan yung stress? BR. Okay, so sa good is uh, 106.14. And then MPA. Okay, so yun na yung sa good. Okay, so balikan natin. Equation of equilibrium using summation of moment, compatibility equation, relationship ng mga deformation, Hooke's law, gamit lang ng PL over AE. And then maka-generate na tayo ng dalawang equations. And then with two unknown, so solvable na yung mga forces and then masolve na yung mga stresses. Okay, so let's check kung tama ang sabat. So 191.82 and then 106.14 MPA. Okay, so next. So, before the 400 kN load is applied, the rigid platform rests on two steel bars. Each of cross-section area is 1,400 mm2. As shown in the figure, the cross-sectional area of the aluminum bar is 2,800 mm2. Compute the stress in the aluminum bar after the 400 kN load is applied. Use E equals 200 GPA for steel and E equals 70 GPA for aluminum. Neglect weight of the platform okay so first step is to draw the figure so ito yung uh, platform and then initially supported siya ng ano no uh, two steel bar so sa kanya lang tumatama and then dito sa gitna and dito yung aluminum okay so, ito may loadings na 400 kilonewtons. So, define muna natin yung mga properties, no? So, ini, ito, yung total height is 250 mm. And then, ano pa? So, steel, aluminum, steel. So, define the properties for steel. area ng isa is 1,400 mm squared and then yung E so A is to so 200 GPA how about sa aluminum area ng aluminum so binigay 2,800 mm squared and then E ng alum 70 GPA Okay So, siguro pwede na tayo mag-start And then, in define ko na lang din ito class So, itong distance na to Is 0 0.1 Millimeters Okay, so, ano yung unang step class? Unang step is I-drawing na yung deformed shape Diba? So, upon the application Na itong load na to, so yung platform Na bababa siyang ganyan so, let's say, exaggerate natin. Dito siya aabot. So, andi dito na yung platform. Okay. So, therefore, andi dito yung 400 kilonewtons. And then, ngayon, makikita mo na na magre-resist sila, diba? So, ito magre-resist na P-steel. And then, ito magre-resist na p alum and then, ito magre-resist na P-steel. Okay. So, eh? So, uh, for step 1, equation of equilibrium. 
So, ano yung, anong pwede? E di summation of force vertical. A equals 0 considering upward forces positive. Okay, so that is PS, PS. So, 2PS plus itong P alu. Minus itong downward force na 400 kN is equal to 0. Okay, yun yung unang equation. Next, compatibility equation na tayo. Compatibility equation. So, using yung relationship ng mga deformation, di ba? So, tingnan natin, class. For steel. Di ba yung steel hanggang dito siya dati? Dati, class. <clears throat> Tapos, nung nag-deform siya, napunta na dito yung, ila yung ano niya, location niya, yung ilalim ng bar, napunta na dito. So, ibig sabihin mula dito hanggang dito, eto ngayon yung deformation ng steel. Wa? And then, eto naman. So, yung aluminum hanggang dito lang siya, di ba? Nung, nung bumaba tong platform, so, na-compress siya hanggang dito. So, ibig sabihin mula dito hanggang dito, eto ngayon yung deformation lang naman ng aluminum. So, using the figure, no, geometry, paano marirelate tong deformation of steel with respect sa aluminum? E di deformation of steel is equal sa deformation ng alum plus itong gap na to na 0.1 mm. Okay, so yun na yun. Deformation of steel is equal sa deformation ng alum plus itong gap na 0.1 mm. Okay, and then third is yung Hooke's Law. Okay, so simplify lang naman natin ito. So magiging ano ito. PS, LS over AS, ES is equal sa P alum, L alum, A alum, and then E alum and then plus 0 0.1 mm. So, ayan, class. Hindi na siya pwedeng, ano, uh, yung basta-bastang unit na lang katulad ng last problem kanina. Kasi, dito may nakikita ka na. Required na ang unit is naka-MM. So, dapat itong, ano na to, naka-MM, saka itong, ano to, naka-MM rin to, class. So, paano siya magiging MM? Dapat itong force naka-Newton. Ito, naka-MM. Ito, naka- uh, MM squared. Ito, naka- MPA, para MM siya. Para consistent tayo sa unit. Okay? Kailangan siyang gawin dito. Anyway, so, lagay natin, input natin yung mga, ano, uh, given. So, PS. Ilan yung length ng steel? So, tingnan natin yung figure. Diba? Mula dito. Hanggang dito, yun yung, to, yun yung length ng steel. So, therefore, itong 250 na to. Ayan yung length ng steel. LS. O, how about itong length ng, ano, ng aluminum? Eh di ano, 250 minus itong point 0.1, di ba? So, ito lang yung length ng length ng ano, alo. Okay. Na equal sa 250 uh, mm, no? 250 mm minus yung gap na 0 0.1 mm. Okay. Anyways, ang ilagay natin. So, ito lang ng steel. 250 mm. Area ng steel. Binigay. 1,400. Kada isa. And then, yung E. Naka 200 GPA. Pero dapat naka MPA. So, magagawin ko na siya. 200,000 MPA. Is equal sa E alum. Yung length ng alum, ito na yon Yung 250mm minus yung gap. 0.1mm. Then divided by area ng alum, 2.8. And then E70. So, 70,000 MPA. Okay. So, therefore, naka, ay, may, mayroon pa plus, plus 0.1 so therefore na generate na ako na equation ko na tawag ko equation 2 so ito yung equation 2 ito yung 
equation 1 ko. Ah, so, class, uh, dapat kasi, di ba, dapat naka-newton yung force. Hindi yung mga force dito naka-newton. So, kailangan ito, convert ko dito sa newton. So, magiging ito, ano, ah, uh, 2PS plus P alum and then minus 400,000 newton is equal to 0. Okay? So, Ayan, siguro, kaya mo na ba mag-solve yan? Class, katulad na ginawa mo kanina. Two equations, two unknowns. Okay, ito yung magiging equation 1 ko. Okay, so, equation 1, lagay ko dito. 2PS plus E alum minus 400,000 newtons is equal to 0. So, ito yung mga naka-newtons yan. Ito yung equation 1. Okay, so two equations, two unknowns, so solvable ang PS and then P alum. So pwede class, substitution method ka, bahala ka class na try na natin ikaw mag-solve. So ilan ang PS at ilan ang P alum. So ako gagamit ako ng uh, mode 5 one. Ay, Mode 5. So i-input ko to. Ayan na, 2. Ito is 1. Ito is nasa kabilang side yan is 400,000. And then, ito naman. So, input ko yan. 250 divided by 1,4 divided by 283. Ito, lilipat ko ito dun. So, magiging ano ito. 250 minus 0.1 divided by 2,8 divided by 73. Lahat pala naka-negative kasi nilipat ko sa left side. And then, ito, 0.1. Okay. So, ikaw, try mo class. Ayan yung equation. Bahala ka dumiskarte. So, titignan ko kung anong sagot. Okay. So, sagot sa calc ko is, ayan, 177, 178. 178.5. 42 unit is newtons, di ba? And then, yung isa is, ay, eto, 45, 643. 643.15 newtons. Ano ba tinatanong? Compute the stress in the aluminum bar. O, di may P alum na. O, tama. O, di for the stress. So, dito na lang yan. So, for stress alum may be equal yun sa ano stress alum is equal sa P alum over area alum so P alum that is 45 643.15 newtons and then area is uh, aluminum ito 2800 mm squared. So, therefore, ilan ang stress? So, 45, 643.15 over 28. Okay. So, sagot is 16.30. 16.30. Unit is what? Newton mm squared. So, MPA. Okay, so ito na yung sagot sa stress ng alum. Okay, so check natin class kung tama. Okay, so correct. Okay, so yung last three problems class, uh, sa next uh, video ko siya i represent. Okay, so thank you guys and God bless.